Right, so I raced quite a lot in the UK and abroad recently, so I think it's good to do a little comparison about the two, because I think there's some interesting points that you actually might not understand or might not expect between the two types. So the race we're going to analyse is Peony. It's pretty hilly, uh, and then we'll kind of have a look at Tour of Albania, some stages, some stages in Mauritius um, as well. So well, first of all, we'll go into Peony. Now, this was a hard race, 3 hours 20, 294 normalized. We'll go change my weight and threshold to actually what it is. So I was like 60 kilos and I reckon my threshold was about 320 ish. Um, so yeah, like not, not crazy, but not, not terrible either. Um, so anyway, we can see just straight away the normalized just bananas. Like, you know, an hour at 321, uh, we had three hours at 297 normalized. And that's kind of stuff that seems on the surface of it quite crazy. Uh, but I think there's some kind of interesting points of explaining why UK racing is like this. So number one, there's never really like one big climb. So you can see I did two minutes of 400 watts, which is, you know, decent, but there's nothing else that's absolutely crazy. Like a minute 470, like, okay, yeah, it's, it's not easy, uh, but it's not like, oh my God, that's crazy. And if you kind of look at these ones, like they're always just pretty spiky, but you can see it's always like just 280 watts, just like quite a lot of the course, the way it is um, and the way UK racing is, it's just kind of on the whole time. And like you never really get that in as much in, in other races. You can see I did 10 minutes of 316 watts here. So again, not bad, you know, in all in all. Like the numbers are not, not bad, I'm not going to lie. But they're not like crazy. Again, you can see here, two minutes at 370. Um, and I think by just having it like this, it really boosts the normalized massively. You can see I average 270 normalized. Um, and then, okay, the, the normal, 270 average, sorry, normalized a little bit higher. But... It's really different, and I think the reason that is is because you spend a lot of time in um in threshold and tempo, which I don't think you do in other races as much. Um, and obviously in this race there's a lot of anaerobic. That's kind of what you expect, and I think it's just that the roads you don't really get as much uh sh like shelter um in the wheel because the roads are so bad. So again, you can see here I spent like you know twelve minutes at three hundred to three twenty four. You can see a lot of time spent here, which I don't think happens in other races. So we'll have a look at kind of Tour of Mauritius. This was like the first day was, was really like similar to a stage race, uh, similar to a one day race, obviously. After that, it gets harder to compare because a lot more tactics. But the first day, again, you can see like 44 minutes, 277 normalized. And now you might go, okay, but maybe you're just saving energy. Nah, I wasn't saving energy. It's just the way the race is. But you can see here, like there's a, a bit here where it's just a headwind and just no one does anything. And like, there's just a bit more, I'd say tactical knowledge in these races of like, people aren't gonna pull if the bunch is chasing. Why not that be? People will pull until they're caught. And I don't think that's a bad idea sometimes, but I think it it doesn't mean, it means breaks don't go crazy. So you get in a break and it's not like it's full straight away, which is really different to the UK where like you get in a break and it's just death. And it's kind of like just as hard as people can pull. So I think that's that's one real difference that I found. Um, I also just think like the accelerations are a lot bigger because there's, there's more speed. So you can see here, like again, 260 normalized. There is actually some bits where it goes real hard. Um, and like, it's kind of hard to see, like you can see 10 minutes on the flat here, 306 watts. This was actually a pretty tough section on the race. Um, and again, you can see like this actually does look more like a UK race, but even so the normalized overall 260, then you've got like a long climb where, you know, you're averaging 240 for so long, but it's not, it's just not that like crazy, crazy, uh, power. You can see here again, like the two minutes, 350, it's not, it's not the same. Uh, if we look at Albania, I did crash and all the rest of it. So you can see after this whole part, I crashed here. Um, but before that, you can see like, you know, there's 10 minutes at 328 watts, but actually it's, it's kind of more like eight minutes at 350, um, 360, sorry, uh, here. So you can, again, see like this part, you just don't get in UK racing where it's like an extended climb. The last bit was at 400 watts. So that is actually like pretty tough. And, um, that really, I think is why it's different It's because there are big sections. Like on this one, obviously there's a, there's the massive climb as well. So that is really what changes it. And you can see like after this bit here, the normalized is not like insignificant, 290 normalized, but it's just not the same. You don't get that like real crazy stuff. Um, and you can see there's like big spikes here. Like it's real, um, these kicks here are a lot bigger than what you get in the UK. Like trying to follow people's wheels is really hard. Um, people are just a bit more explosive. Again, you can see on this stage, and this is really where it's different. It's like in a stage race, like you can, we're just on a mo way and you can just sit. And I was following one guy around you can see that the numbers are a lot less. If we go over to a one-day race, so this is um, Coots Mammoth Classic, it, the ambulance didn't turn up, so, so it is kind of weird to to compare. Um, I got 20th in it, so it's actually not a shabby result. Not unreal, but you know. 
so again, you can see like the first half an hour, 300 normalizers. It's similar to a UK Nat B this race again, but it's still just, you don't get the crazy stuff. You can see though, two minutes, 400 watts. Um, that is not, not too bad to be fair. Like it's not, I don't know why it says that world tour, two minutes, 400 watts, definitely not world tour. But you can see again, like that is kind of more similar to what you'd expect um, in a UK race. Um, but yeah, like that was actually a dead start after the race got ca um, got paused. So it kind of doesn't count because it's so fresh. But you can see like it, here, it's like 260 on my eyes. It's just, it's just not the same uh, intensity and they're not the same, just like constant on the pedals the whole time. Uh, like if we look at this stage, maybe the 25 watt distribution, you'll see there is quite a lot of time here, um, but there's a lot more time spent down here. Uh, if we look at this, you can see it sort of stops here. There's quite a lot of time at 600 while there. It's like it goes all the way down because you are going to have to do these massive, massive surges to do it. And I think Albania will also kind of, obviously it's kind of ruined here, but you can see again, like there is a lot more time, in my opinion, spent further down and less time spent here in general. Uh, again, like this one I was chasing on the front, so you can see it's actually a lot easier. Um, but again, more, more relative time down there. Um, and I'm pretty sure we'd see the same. Same for this as well. This is actually more, you can see it, real free pedaling, free wheeling, or a lot of time, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds spent down in, in these 25 watt zones. So again, I think that goes to show it is just slightly more punchy. Uh, and I think it's also to do with the tactical part of like people won't pull if there are anyone in their wheel. On the UK, it's just kind of like on the whole time. And even when like a brake's gone, it still doesn't slow down that much. Um, so anyway, cheers for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. And I'll see you in the next one.